Thanks for joining us for Crown 4 News at 10. I'm Dan Thorne. And I'm Noelle Bello. Tonight we are discussing San Francisco marking its 20th pedestrian death of the year. Yeah, Sarah Stinson is out there tonight as people are gathering for a vigil. Uh, Sarah joining us with the very latest now. Sarah. Yeah, people dropped off flowers, signs, candles right here where a 70-year-old man was hit and killed by a truck. The vigil honored all the lives lost to deadly crashes this year. Many neighbors say they're worried that if nothing is done to make streets safer, that any one of them could be next. Start for a moment of silence for the gentleman that we lost here. A community vigil for yet another person hit and killed by a driver in San Francisco. I'm going to take a moment to read the names of those that we know we've lost this year. In tears, community members listened to the names of the 20 pedestrians who have died on city streets this year. David Warren Bridges Jr. Kwan Zon Huang. So much shared grief. Um, from all of the neighbors and fear and anger. Claire Fram lives in the Coal Valley neighborhood. She says she was biking with her three-year-old when they came across the scene of a deadly crash Tuesday morning. It was full of emergency vehicles. Police say a 70-year-old man was struck by a dump truck around 845 at the intersection of Parnassus Avenue and Stanyan Street near the UCSF East Parnassus campus. He died at the scene. His name has not been released yet. The driver involved is cooperating with police. Drugs and alcohol are not suspected to be involved. The cause is still being investigated. Catherine Roberts has lived in the area for more than two decades. And do I find it really terrifying to cross the street? Absolutely, every single day. Sadly, she says she's not surprised someone was killed in this intersection. Roberts explained what neighbors want changed to make this area safer for pedestrians. We can ban right turns on red. I know I, this guy apparently had the green light, but how much safer would that make everything? We can time the lights to 20 miles an hour. Ten years ago, the city adopted Vision Zero to end all traffic fatalities. Walk SF is calling on city leaders to complete that commitment. This is a public health epidemic, and we need our leaders to treat it as such. Those inconveniences for a driver can actually save my life and my child's life. Pedestrian deaths have surpassed last year's total of 18. On November 17th, Walk SF and other organizations will be gathering at City Hall for the 10th annual World Day of Remembrance for road traffic victims. So if you want to join and honor the victims, you can go to City Hall on that Sunday night and uh, they'll continue to honor the lives lost. For now, I'm Sarah Stinson reporting live in San Francisco. Back to you.